Hi, servus and hello world. Let's talk about OpenGrid again. Today I wanted to show you what is possible using all those open models that I provided. So uh, let's dive right in and create something based on the snaps. So what I would like to do today is put a metric screw into one of the lock snaps. Um, this should be similar to what I have created here. Those are just the normal snaps and the, the directional snaps. And um, I want to have a lock snap with a metric nut in it. For this to work, I use the metric screw dimensions that I found online. Um, this is the nut here and it has always the um, maximum and minimum dimensions for several of the parts and we will just use the maximum ones. Um, the same is true for the clearance hole. Um, the M3 clearance hole here has a close fit uh, dimension, a normal fit and a loose fit dimension. In this case we use the normal fit dimension because that should be fine for most of the use cases. So for creating the lock snap, let's just head over to the open grid modeling files on printables and download the snap modeling files as those are especially meant to be used that way. So this is the open grid modeling page and we have the uh, snap modeling files down here and we want to use the um, open grid snap log and there's a st step file here that we will just download. Let's put this somewhere and then head over to I'm using Shaper 3D for this. Um, so this is my workspace and let's just uh, drag the file in here so we have the snap log inside Shaper 3D. Normally I would uh, first remove the, the coin slot here um, so we have a really bare snap but in this case I will just keep the coin slot in there because we need to be able to screw and lock in place the snap somehow. So let's undo this and then uh, get onto the snap from the bottom and just add all the necessary features we want to have. First we need to have this hex shape here and the hex shape according to the documentation that I used uh, needs to have a, a dimension of what was it 5.5 millimeters but uh, for the whole width here so we just use half of that. And the other thing that we need is the clearance hole in the middle. The clearance hole is um, let's see 2.4 millimeters. Let's add this, that here as well. So if we have those um, the first thing that I would like to do is just punch uh, this hole through so we have it right here. Uh, this is where we can then attach the uh, screw later on. And then we have the hexagonal shape which we need to push in for um, let's see 2.4 millimeters as well. So that should be it. Let's just disable the sketch here and this should be a workable lock snap uh, that can be used with a M3 hex nut in here. Um, let's just check how deep this here is. It is still 0 0.9 millimeters, so about one millimeter, which should be completely fine for the hex nut to, to keep everything in place. So as you see, it is fairly easy to use this to create your own models. Uh, the step files that are provided will allow you to do the same with any CAD software out there and you should be able to attach whatever you want doing basically the same. But now let's export the file and actually print it to see how it looks like. So let's just export the file here. I will use a step file because that's the easiest to work with. And then we will head over to the Bamboo Studio, import the step file here. Um, it will ask us about some accuracy details. Uh, what I normally like to do is um, put this on its head because I think the print quality is slightly better um, but that should be all. Let's slice it, uh, let's print it and send. So while this is printing I wanted to use the chance to say thank you to everybody who already started using OpenGrid and creating their own variations of, of all the models that are out there. A big shout out to Pedro for uh, creating so many variations of the underwear files. 
He has, for example, created those cable winders and a ton of other models uh, that you will see on the screen here, as well as uh, the stackable version of the OpenGrid light board. So let's see how this turned out. Um, I have the snap here. I already added a M3 hex nut. Let's push this in here. Then, of course, lock it in place. And then we can attach anything we want using the normal M3 nut. And this will allow me to do, at some point, some actual strength tests. But we won't do that today. So as always, thanks for watching. I hope you liked what you've seen. If you haven't seen the other Open Grid videos, please click here. If you like what I'm doing, please subscribe. And I hope I see you soon in one of my next videos. Bye!